Okay, so we're on workbook page 74, and today we're going to use proportions to help us solve ratio and rate word problems. So proportions is when you have two fractions that are equal and you set them equal. So we're going to do the guided practice down here at the bottom. Number one says, out of 30 students surveyed, 17 have a dog. Based on these results, predict how many of the 300 students in the school would have a dog. So what we're talking about is number of students that have a dog to the total number of students. So when we set up our proportion, the numerators and denominators need to have the same units. So I'm gonna do, the numerator is the number of people who have a dog, the denominator is going to be the total number of students. So this says, out of 30 students surveyed, that means in total, 17 have a dog. So 17 have a dog out of 30 students surveyed. So how many do we predict to have a dog if we surveyed 300 students? So this is a proportion, but it's not complete because we're missing how many people we think would have a dog out of 300 students. So what we can do for proportions is we can cross multiply. So of course, we're missing a number here, so we can't cross multiply that. So I'm gonna cross multiply the two numbers that we do have, 17 times 300. That equals 5,100. We want the other cross product to equal the same thing. These are supposed to equal the same thing. So what we wanna know is 30 times what is gonna give us that same number. 30 times what will give us that same number. So to find that out, you can take the answer we just got and divide it by 30. We could do the opposite. So if I divide that by 30, I get 170. So that means 30 times 170 gives us 5,100. So that means that question mark would be 170 students. So we could predict 170 students to have a dog if we surveyed 300 students. Number two, if one out of 12 students at a school share a locker, how many share a locker in a school of 456 students? So the two units we're comparing is students that share a locker to total students. I'm just gonna write share for now. So it says one out of 12. So that means one share a locker out of 12 students total. So how many share, how many share, question mark, if we have 456 total students. So these would be our proportions. I have to make sure that the numerators are the same unit, which is students that share, and the denominator is the same, which is total students. So now we could cross multiply. 456 times one is 456. So we want to know 12 times what is going to give us 456 because remember these cross products should equal. So 12 times what is going to give us 456. Well to find that out we could divide 456 divided by 12. That gives us 38. So this answer is 38 because 12 times 38 would give us the same cross product. So that means 38 students are expected to share a locker in a school of 456 students. Number three, Sabrina jogged two miles in 30 minutes. At this rate, how far would she jog in 90 minutes? At what rate did she jog each hour? So we're comparing miles to minutes. So that would be our two units, miles to minutes. So I'm gonna put two miles to 30 minutes. How many miles do we think she would jog in 90 minutes? So we're gonna cross multiply. 90 times two is 180. 
So what we want to know is 30 times what will give us 180. Well, we could do 180 divided by 30 to find out. That would be 6. So 30 times 6 is 180. So those are the same. So that works. So she's expected to jog 6 miles in 90 minutes. But then it also asks, at what rate did she jog each hour? So we know she jogs 2 miles in 30 minutes. So 60 minutes is an hour. So we would have to multiply that by 2 to get an hour. So that means she jogs 4 miles each hour. If she jogs 2 miles in 30 minutes, 4 miles in 60 minutes, so that would be an hour.